Do you love your brother and sister? Or are you using the liberty God has given you that Christ has won for you, that you really have a right to, are you using that liberty for sinful purposes, namely to tear your brother or sister down? And that's why Paul says in Romans 14, 17 through 20, for the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. So then let us pursue what makes for peace and mutual upbuilding. Everything is indeed clean, but it is wrong for anyone to make another stumble by what he eats. See, the point there is not whether you have the liberty to eat meat that's been sacrificed to idols, whether you have the liberty to have a beer with your friends for whom it's not a problem. The issue here is whether you are using your God-given liberty to sin, namely, to offend somebody intentionally. Now, the legalist needs to repent and stop lording it over people who do have no problem in their conscience with things that are not directly condemned or forbidden in Scripture. And the person who uses his Christian liberty to offend his neighbor, you know, showing up at a church potluck with a six-pack just to sort of rile people up, that's also sin. Paul is saying, cut it out, you knuckleheads on both sides. Love each other. Well, what does that mean? Well, it means to love each other. Figure it out. That really is <laughs> Paul's out outlook. And so that's why he says in 1 Corinthians 10, all things are lawful. He doesn't mean that the things God has forbidden, but he's saying all things in this area where God hasn't given us direct commandments, all things are lawful, but not all things are helpful. All things are lawful, but not all things build up. Use your Christian liberty wisely. Don't surrender it to any Pharisee, hmm. but use it for the upbuilding of the body of Christ.